When I came back from a recent trip to Glasgow, I came into the house and it was very quiet, like the house quiet. And in the past, I could swear when I've been lying in bed at night that there's always been a very slight white noise in the background. Not sure if it's the start of this or if it's just, you know, you get that ambient noise or I thought maybe it's because I'm near the sea and it's just noise creeping into the house. But I came back and there was a very distinct hissing noise, really low volume, but it was there and it was so, it was really hard to actually locate. I eventually uh, found lifted floorboards all over the place that I knew the water run was because I thought I could have a burst pipe. And there is, there's a tiny pinhole in this pipe. It's not because it's frozen and expanded and cracked, because it's not. It's uh, the water would have cut off if it had frozen. It's just for some reason, a tiny pinprick hole has appeared in this and it was spraying water undersides, on the underside of some of the floorboards. So um, I patched it out, I removed a section of the pipe and I've patched a new bit in and I'm letting it all dry out now. Fortunately it was uh, under the floor and it's because it's a bungalow it's straight onto the sort of foundation so it's all soaked into the stone, hopefully it will find its way into the ground. Um, on the Hindsight, looking down the end of this, I expected if it had gone through like that, I thought maybe if I cut this, uh, I will find that it's uh, got a... Well, let me show you something, actually. Oh, I just... Uh, yeah, let's be more careful with the pause button in the future. I double press the pause button there, so that's why it's sort of... There was that momentary pause and start, and then me, like pausing, looking at the screen, wondering, has it paused? Seeing the numbers rolling over and going, no, it's not. Pause. I've got the pipe slice. So this is a really common device. Uh, it's worth mentioning it. The Monument Auto Cut, really popular with plumbers. You Basically speaking, you can hook it onto a pipe. I'm actually going to try and find an exact bit here. I'm going to dremel this pipe open afterwards. Let's uh, cut it round about here. So basically speaking, you snap it over the pipe and then you just rotate it and it cuts into the pipe and then does a nice clean cut. It cuts a bit of the pipe off. And the reason I did it there is because uh, I've noticed looking down the end of the pipe that there are little, I don't know if you can see that, the green dot, particularly because it wouldn't be totally in focus and because you can you see the big green dot in the end there. I wonder if that's part of the problem. I wonder if something has caused select corrosion because I was wondering for it to actually fail in that way had it, you know, pitted really badly inside, but the wall of the copper seems quite solid there. So I'm going to pause momentarily, definitely pause this time while I dremel a section of this out to see what's on the other side of that little pinhole. So I shall pause to save your ears the noise of the dremel. Job done. So I've dremeled that out. The inside looks very dark in there, doesn't it? And right round that pinhole is that little mound of green. Let's get closer down to this. You see that little mound of green corrosion? Something has contaminated. Now, I'd guess for that corrosion to occur... Have I, can I get, scratch this with something? Let's find a screwdriver. There's a random screwdriver for the scratching. Yeah, there's a coating inside, just what you'd normally expect, a mineral build-up and pipework. Which probably wouldn't have happened if I'd had the miracle anti-scaling device. No, not really. So it makes me wonder, for that to occur like that, it's almost, the, for the green corrosion, it's almost as if there's been some... Metal? Like steel? Something that has caused an electrolytic reaction, some reaction versus one metal versus the copper. Could it be that during manufacture, the copper has been contaminated with specks of steel from maybe a shaping machine? Dunno. Very hard to say. But that has definitely caused an electrolytic corrosion and pitting in there that has gradually gone through until it's made a hole through. That's disturbing because I see other pinpoints of that along this pipe. And that makes me wonder, is the same thing going to happen, you know, at other positions in the pipe? That could be very awkward because uh, it goes under a very narrow floor space which is only about that deep, so no shimming under it. Especially not me. 
And uh, also it's underfitted kitchen and stuff like that. So that would be very annoying. Yeah, that's interesting. But having said that, I'm sure it's probably lasted for a long time so far. But then again, maybe this is when all the problems are going to occur. Who knows? That's interesting. So if you come across that, if you're in the plumbing industry and you've seen these tiny little pinholes occur due to internal corrosion, it would be interesting to know what your thoughts are on that. This is a, just a standard cold water line. I think it's a cold water line. It could have been the hot water via the, the boiler. It uh, does that. It's got a heat reservoir in the, the oil boiler for uh, heating the water. I wonder if it's affecting the cold pipe and this. I'm going to have to go and see if it was one or the other and maybe take a sample of pipe out one of the other runs and see if it's affected in the same way. It's interesting. Never seen that before. I would have expected if there was going to be anything, a burst pipe would be actually where you've had ice. It looks like an actual split like it has expanded inside, not these little pinholes. So yeah, that's kind of interesting, slightly concerning, but at least it's not going to be a huge jet of water. It's just going to be those little sprays and there'll probably be some warning from a hissing noise. Interesting.